So you imported the image, right? To add supports, right here, the very bottom there, that's your support generation. You could click generate automatic supports, but in something like this, it's going to fill this entire area. And because it's at an angle, it's going to build on itself and you you really don't need all of this. That's going to take so like it's going to add on so much extra time. So if you prepare to print, give it a second here, seven hours, which is ridiculous. And it would use way too much filament, right? So I'm going to go clear all supports. We're going to go back here to prepare to print. This is a way that we already have generate automatic supports on, so it's going to do it. To get rid of, if you didn't want any supports at all, which this guy does need it, but if you didn't want any supports at all, click on your edit settings, go to support, and you know it's selected right there, and it's selected right here. In order to use some supports, you need to leave that part on, but if you didn't want any, you'd click out of it. We do want it though, so I'm gonna click here. We're gonna add some new support structures. We're only gonna place them where we want them. So we need to put them where it's not gonna build off of anywhere. So we're just gonna put them here and just click. So obviously right here, this area is going to need them. turn it around here it's gonna place it in a couple areas there to where it looks like it really needs them probably doesn't need it up this high so if you want to remove them you click here to remove it probably doesn't need it there either doesn't need to go up that high because again it's just gonna build on top of each other so how I'm going to move it this way you right click, hold and drag. To turn it this way, you left click, hold and drag there. And to go in and out, I'm just using my wheel to go in and out here. Still on remove, there you go. Okay, and then to, I want some on the inside. We'll click add. I'm just gonna flip it upside down here and drag it around. So this very center part probably is going to need some so it doesn't just completely fail. All right, and so I'm gonna, I'm done here. So I wanna make sure that I placed them where I placed them. So we're gonna go to prepare to print and this neat function that Simplify 3D has, you can play it. You can watch by layer or line. Line, it goes, you know, you can change the speed here to have it go super fast or, you know, the line, it it's gonna take a while to do it this way so you can change it by layer, but it's going pretty darn fast. I'm going to slow it down here. So this way you can see how all of this area is building on top of each other. You didn't, you don't need supports for that spot, but pretty soon those ears are going to show up. So it can't print on air. That's why for some of them you need supports. And so right here, I had a support there. So if you look at it, it's building on top of each other. If I didn't have a support here, part of that would fail. And then right here, we're going to move this guy back down right here, the mouth right there. That part is going to need a support right in the middle there or it will fail, fail because it can't print an air. So I'm just going to go through this again and I want to make sure that I put the support in the middle in the right spot. So I'm going to pause this and just drag it out this way to make it a bit faster for me. So I'm watching, probably gonna need a little support in the nose area here. So I'm watching to see if I need one right there and it looks like it'll be fine right there in the, yeah. So sometimes if it's a small area like that, it'll just go right over it. So that part will be fine and let's see here. 
make sure so it's still building on on itself here so it looks like I got maybe this other support right here I didn't need that one but yeah so right here that'll keep it intact so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of turn it here and I'll remove this one support and the rest will be fine and add some for the nose right there and the mouth right there so we're gonna go back here go here and remove existing supports get rid of this guy because I don't need him there and then add new um, just right here looks good and and just right here in that middle section right about here maybe a little bit more right about here so cut. and I accidentally clicked right there so let's remove these right here we don't need those spots right there cut so oh look at this little guy so I'm going to add just another little one right here and right about here. Okay, so that's all I really need. So I'm done there and prepare to print. And look at that, four hours, 22 minutes. Kind of knocks off quite a bit of time there, right? I probably didn't need the supports brought out that much, but for to be able to print that, but because sometimes just one piece might not adhere very well. It might get knocked over too easily because there's nothing around it. That's sometimes why I put more than just one little support. But now, so we're going to watch it build up and it's not going to be printing on air. So when I print it, those areas won't fail and become all stringy and funny looking. just doing it to make sure I got it in the right spots yep so that one area right there now has support so and the rest can it, it's when it prints at an angle it doesn't need a support but again it cannot print on air okay so when there's a sometimes when there's a bridge it'll pick itself up but it can only be so big like the the bridge up here above the eyes is not very big this one might have been okay but I might as well just add it in there just in case so and it automatically put one right here I don't think it needs it but that little section right there will be fine and there you go it's fine and now I can you know save it onto an SD card and Put it into place so that's it